Good evening! Hey guys, it's time for a brew. Uh, I haven't had this kind in a while. Finally bought myself another box of the Tetley uh, British Blend uh, tea bags. And you get a ton of them. Oh my gosh, it's like, at least around here, it's like a little over $3 and you get like 80 bags. So what does that mean? What does that mean? One, you get a lot of tea. <laughs> quite simply, uh, but also you get a lot of mediocre at best tea. Uh, I've been drinking, of course, as you guys know, I've been drinking bag tea <coughs> for quite a while. Just pardon me there. Uh, so I'm kind of used to it. I mean, I don't really know, like, Oh, this is crap. This is it's okay. This is high quality, worth the twenty dollars a bag. Just kidding. No tea. No tea. Would you ever pay twenty bucks for that came from in a little baggie? It doesn't happen. Uh, but that loose leaf tea I have is really good, and that was totally worth the money. I've got so much of that left. Anyways, off of tea. That's not gonna be the whole episode. Come on. So, what happened? What happened? Um, to be Saturday. Why I thought Tuesday? No idea. I think I was going to say today, but the mind isn't working. Uh, but Saturday was cool. Um, the shop I had to work, and that went really quick. Boom, boom, boom. Got out of there. That was cool. Ooh, going red. Going red. Putting the mood on. This is creepy now. Uh, but there's a ginormous dragon on the on the screen, so it's not it's not sensual in any way. Uh, it's totally manly. Uh, I'm a I'm I'm a complete dork tonight. It's okay. Just just ignore it. Don't ignore it because that means you would have to shut the video off. Anyways, back to topic. So Saturday, shop went quick. Got in, got out, came home, made some food. I don't even know what it was at this point. I'm pretty sure I made tacos. I did. I made tacos. And it was great. And I liked it a lot. It was really good. Now, background just... Is it changing like crazy? Oh, okay. Alright. That's why I won't... Oh, never mind. Anywho. So, yes. Tacos, I think. And... Kind of chilled out. Watched a lot of Netflix. Um, didn't really watch anything too new. Uh, I did watch Red Steak. Uh, it was a horror thriller movie. Uh, ooh, my dryer's done. ADD today. Goodness gracious, I'm just all over the place. Um, watch, but I watched that movie, and it, like I said, it was like a horror thriller movie. But Kevin Smith directed it, so I'm like, well, I might as well watch it. It was a bunch of, um, it, was a, it, was a, it was a group of kids that was hunting around for some tale, some action, and. They stumbled upon this group of religious weirdos, uh, or religious fanatics, I guess you might call them, that was completely against gays and premarital sex and all that, but apparently not against murder. Now it's, uh, spoilers, don't worry, you don't need to go watch it, I'll just tell you right now. Kind of a little preview of what I might, what I was thinking of doing, uh, as a, another idea for another show to kind of throw up on here. And... The kids thing didn't last very long because we ended up kind of get, getting rid of them, all but one of them. And he was supposed to be the, you know, thinking, oh, he might survive. Oh, and he might save this girl and the other kids and everything else, right? Because uh, the police get involved and they're like, they're trying to break into this compound. You know, basically it's like a, it's, it's a land that has a lot of no trespassing signs and things like that to get into this church and to save these kids that, are in here, are in there, and they, they, they all, nothing happens. I mean, Kevin Smith is amazing, and there was all tons of good dialogue in the movie, but it was slow moving, it was kind of boring, and just not what I would expect from a Kevin Smith film, and I really was kind of disappointed in it. Uh, would I recommend it? No. Um... No, I just I, I can't even re recommend it for you guys to watch. Now, if you are bored and you need need to wa you want to watch an hour and a half movie, 
and you don't know what to watch and you don't care if it's even crappy, then sure, go for it. Kevin Smith, if he ever watches this, which he won't, your movie is your movie skills are incredible. Okay, Clerks is by far one of my way up here, way up here on the list of favorite movies to watch ever. But I don't think horror and thriller is ever going to work for him, and I just don't think I would want to go that route for him. No. Anyways. If he ever does go through it again, I really hope he does a better job. Or maybe collabs with Rob Zombie? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, but anyways, so that was pretty much my Saturday. Nothing really happened. Uh, today, um, I made chili. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love chili. Um, I hate the cold. I hate cold weather. I hate cold season. I hate all that. I would rather it be 70 degrees all the time, 70, 80 degrees all the time outside uh, with maybe a slightly cool breeze. Not wind, a breeze. Slight breeze all the time. That would be fan fantastic. Gotta bring that word back. Uh, I would be, it'd be great. But it doesn't happen. You know, we've got to have the seasons, right? And today was alright, but it was so, so sort of cold. Um, but that's kind of about it. Um, watch Netflix again today. I bought Duels of the Planeswalkers. I did that yesterday. Uh, it was kind of late. I think it was later in the evening I finally bought it. And it's it's going pretty good. It's going pretty good. I, I, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I'm unlocking some new decks and stuff, so I'm kind of having fun with that. Um, now, the idea that, oh, well, you know, uh, you should just go for... Um, you should just go for Hearthstone. Eventually, maybe. Maybe, but from what I understand, you can buy cards, and I think you can buy, and you can definitely buy cards with like deck packs and stuff to get a hold of for duels. I don't want, I, I don't want to spend a whole bunch of extra money, and right now I want to learn magic because at some point I would like to have a good, a decent understanding of the game. So if I were to go to the local shop and for Friday Night Magic, I can play the game and have a little better understanding of the mechanics and stuff. Now, I, that's what I'm hoping for, and I mentioned that before, I don't want to rehash on it too much, but so far I'm, I'm, I'm understanding it, I'm getting uh, the ideas in my head of how it works and all that. I feel like it was a hiccup, but apparently it was yawn. Oh my goodness. Anyways, uh, so I'm just kind of catching up on YouTube, and I'm hoping to go to bed at a decent hour tonight, so uh, I'll upload this video tomorrow, which would be... Uh, Monday. Gosh, my eyes water so much. Ah, seriously, every time I yawn, my eyes get so watery. Like I literally, if I can, I can make myself yawn, and if I do it like two or three times, I literally look like I'm crying because my eyes get so watery. And if I don't like blink a bunch, you know how you like blink a bunch to get the water, or, like to go the tear, you know, because they're you're watering to kind of get them to go away. If I don't do that, if I try to hold out and not make it make myself blink and too much, oh yeah, I can literally get the stuff going. Uh, I can get it like a tear, you know, like a tear, not like water fountain, like anime, you know, and they're like what, and they're like all sad looking, and it's just streaming down their face. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love when they do that. But um, uh, let me know in the comments if you guys have anywhere, anywhere that, and you can throw things at me, I don't care, okay, in this case. But I like English dubbed, alright? I know it's horrible, but I am not one of those people that wants to sit around and read subtitles and try to enjoy the action and the art that's going on, okay? The art is not damaged when you watch... English dubbed, I don't feel like. I feel like you get to watch all the cool action and all that. Yeah, the dialogue may be pretty subpar uh, in comparison to what the original uh, you know, translation is. But I love it. I, I, I like it. I love watching Bleach and Death Note and stuff. And I just want to watch it in dubbed. So if you have a great place to do that that doesn't mess up. Uh, at the moment I'm watching it on Anime Freak TV dot com or is it animefreak.tv I can't remember off the top of my head at the moment but let me know in the comments if you have anywhere on that 
Also, leave a comment if you've ever forgotten that your stuff was in the dryer and you kind of just go back and turn it back on the next day. Uh, anyways, 10 minutes, just collect, now 10, 2, 3. Ah, this is creepy and weird. I have no idea what I'm doing now. So, I am going to go uh, catch up on the rest of my YouTube subscriptions, hopefully, and then probably go to bed. Ah, I will hopefully talk to you guys again tomorrow, but... As always, catch you later.